the Black Knights and the Cadets feel like there's a gigantic opportunity for him here. Army won the toss, deferred in the second half. Kick comes down to Keyshawn Williams. Four Wake Forest takes it to the outside, cuts it back inside. And great field position to start for Wake. Out to the 38-yard line. They've got a very veteran offensive line. They've got a veteran team. Hartman kept that pressure in his face. He got it away. That's to Roberson, who finally gets wrestled out of bounds at the 41 by Julian McDuffie. And he picked up 17 yards. Carter block pressure this time. Kicks it out to Beal Smith. Christian Beal Smith breaking tackles inside the 30. Picks up another first down. It's a gain of 13, though there is a flag. It's third and three. They need to get inside the five for this first down. And whistles and flags, and that'll push him back. Carter stepped in the neutral zone. Wake Forest on the board first. Christian Turner caps off a 62-yard drive and an early score for the Demon Deacons. Run the ball right down their throat. Watch Nagasamnaya right here, the right guard. He has a good one-on-one -on -one block. Lowen gets blocked by the left guard McGinn. And I think Army was expecting pass there. So I will, having watched the last two games, I really believe Army would have won those last two games against Ball State and Wisconsin if Anderson had played. He's got a man and his face, gets away from Fox. Looking downfield on the opening play, he's got Walters! So they go right to the pass on the first play, and they're inside the Wake 40 down to the 36. And the first foul. How about the speed from Anderson to be able to avoid Miles Fox? Look at him. I mean, just barely didn't get him. And then Jasir Taylor hits Anderson. I mean, this is a guy coming off of missing two games on a hit that looked very similar to that. What a beautiful catch by Walters to sky up. Third and five for Army on a drive that got going with a 39-yard pass. Anderson pitches it outside. Gets away on the corner, and Brandon Walters has the first down. Four-down territory. Anderson pitches. Walters puts it inside. Cuts it into the end zone. The Brandon Walters drive caps it off for six. Watch Booby Law, the left tackle here. This is a new wrinkle that they haven't shown. He goes down and then gets out and pushes everything out. Smenda overplays it. The linebackers for Wake Forest. Hartman was three of four on the opening drive. There's that slow weight. There's that deep shot. A.T. Perry behind the defense. And just like that, he beat McDuffie. That's a pickup of 50. They call it variable tempo. They're also not afraid to go for it on fourth. Hartman. Pocket was clean. Shot down the field. Roberson in the end zone. Made the grab. What a catch from Ja'Cory Roberson. One of the best receivers in the ACC. And Wake answers Army's answer to go back in front. These receivers are impressive. Left side of your screen. Roberson's in the slot. He's going to run a deep post. There's a linebacker running with him, but the safety, Cunningham, is back there as well. 25-year-old, seventh year of college football, graduated from Old Dominion. Third year that way. Anderson goes the other way. Fox is in his face again. Fox and Bothroyd still down on the ground. Watch. Officials timeout for injuries. They are moving up front, and Army is not able to adjust to the movement. Wake Forest defensive line is just too quick, and Anderson immediately reached up for his right shoulder, chest, clavicle area. Watch Anderson's right hand at the tail end of that. He landed right on that right shoulder. Late in the fourth to A.J. Howard. He's out of the shotgun on third and 14. They swing it out to the far side to Robinson. He's the playmaker, but just nowhere to go. Nick Anderson stayed home maybe a couple of yards. Andre Carter. That's the matchup. Tries to go inside. Still after Hartman. He got one away. Hartman on the move. Looking downfield. Trying to get the corner. And he's not going to have the first down. He's short by about a yard. Martina. 
You assume Ferrari here on third and one. It's four down territory. They give to Buchanan. They don't need the fourth down. <laughs> Jacoby you know what? Buchanan's got it, the first it, it, down. It's not four down territory. It's Jacoby Buchanan territory. Dunk is to Buchanan over the left side. And they convert the fourth down. Leads all FBS players with at least 25 attempts. Tyler kept it himself. Cuts it back into the red zone. Tyre Tyler down to the 12-yard line. All right, watch this. You're going to see Atkins go this way and then Tyler back the other way. Atkins that way. Tyler kicks it out. That is really well done. On the arm, 45. On third and one. It is Buchanan. First down. And more. Touchdown, Army. Here comes the fullback belly. Right up the middle. Quarterback sneak blocking. I'm guilty of that, too, though. I'll probably do that later on in the broadcast. I was just going to say, you do that up here. <laughs> Roberson made this grab between two defenders. Coming on second down, there's that long mesh point. Gives him more time, and it's wide open. Perry will walk into the end zone. 54 yards on the touchdown to A.T. Perry. They've got a man-to-man -man corner. Cunningham's going to come up and play the run. So you've got man-to-man -man on the deep end. Cameron Jones against A.T. Perry. Checked into the game. And, of course, he gets the handoff. And he's stacked up, but the mark is across the 35. Remember, the drive started after a touchback. So that'll be a first down for Army. I try it again. This is a speed option. With Tyler Tyler, who falls forward. Red again makes the stop. But Tyler picks up seven. He's near midfield. Well, they have Atkins. It's not Buchanan. Give it to him anyway, and the hole opened up. That's a first down. Right into the open arms of Masterson, but he picks up three. Play of the drive coming up. Oh, it's back to pass. Foul Robinson. He doesn't have the marker, and now it's a decision time. This feels like a huge fourth down. They can't play catch up all afternoon. Tyler steps back and drilled. Right off the edge. Jasheen Davis untouched. Put an end to the drive. What a hit. And here, undefeated Wake Forest has a touchdown lead on Army. Tyler kept it himself. Found the hole. Tyler to the end zone. Tyler Tyler with a 24-yard keeper. And Army with an extra point away from tying it again. Watch Catterbone 29 right side of your screen. Right there. Catterbone gets the key block on Travion Red. The nation's leader with eight and a half. They need him to get one today. Yeah, and soon. Another delivery to Perry. Already over 100 yards receiving for A.T. Perry and a touchdown. Now out crowd trying to make it difficult for Sam Hartman in his 26th career start. They bring five. They double Carter. Hartman off his back foot looking for the tight end. And a flag. Wow. Eric Smith was step for step, but his hands were on Brandon Chapman. On those in-breaking routes, you got to be automatic. To pass again, the late blitz. Hartman finds Marin, his first catch of the day, and it takes it inside the Army 40 down to the 37. Could easily be four down territory here for the Demon Deacons. Safety for Cunningham. That's beyond the sticks and another catch for A.T. Perry. Another late grip blitz. Whistles fly. Doesn't really have the type of offense to think that they would get points on the other side. Cunningham's back in. A long match. Beal Smith the handoff. Touchdown Wake Forest. Christian Beal Smith takes it in from 13 yards out. And the fourth touchdown drive of the opening half for the Demon Deacons. Watch how long Hartman keeps this in Beal Smith's belly. One, two. And he sees that hole and says go. Tyler getting to the edge, keeping it himself. And a 24-yard touchdown run in the 
the opening half. And how about starting with 22 yards on the first carry in the third quarter? Play more. It's quarterback zone. Watch Cade Varner, the fullback. He's their best guy without the ball. Watch 40 come through. Boom, you're going down 12. And then Tyler has all kinds of room. These fullbacks, especially Barnard. Yeah, he only has 16 carries on the season. Compare that to Buchanan with 64. They pitch it to the outside. Got it to Walters. He got a great block for Robinson. Walters cuts it back in down inside the 30-yard line. 24 on the walk for Brandon Walters and two quick plays. And Army's in possession inside the 30. Terrell Robinson, 21. Watch the block by 21. Now let's see if Walters stayed in. Tyrell Robinson got two guys to go down. No, he stayed in. Good job by Walters. Tyler trying to get to the edge. Pitches it to Robinson late. Straightening down the sideline. Robinson, first and goal, Army. Taken down by Carson on the sideline. Triple option. Watch Tyler attach, attack the option man. He goes right up to him, runs right up to him, forces him to commit. He made 17 Travion Red commit. There's no point in running the option unless the quarterback forces the guy you're optioning off of to commit to him. You must attack when the fullback's really tight. You can get the ball into the pile. No signal yet. Touchdown, Army! Should we fire him? Should we do it? You can do it. Yeah, for Army. This game is bananas. I can't quite tell on that look. Both Roberson and Perry to the top of the screen. A double four. Carter around the edge. Hartman walks it down the field again. It's Roberson. Another home run ball goes for 75 and a touchdown. My goodness, have yourself a day. Ninth time in his career. This is unbelievable to watch. Cunningham almost takes him down. Having problems earlier in this ballgame up the middle. Laws. Pump face. Fires. Open receiver is caught. Halston down the field. Got behind the secondary. And another big play for Army. Three of four passing. Trying to get to the edge. They have blockers out there. Robinson gets away with one on a stiff arm and a flag flies. That looked like a face mask. Back follow. They'll follow number 40. Still is a pitch to the outside. Got a block and Walters is upended. Anderson flying in to get him below the waist. And here is that fourth down decision for you on fourth and five. Yeah, well, they moved Tally. And now he's going in motion. They are going to throw it. It's back. Won't be caught. Pick six on a fake field goal for Wake Forest. Watch Travion Red, 17, top of your screen. He's running with the guy going down the seam. That is an unbelievable play by Travion Red. That is incredible. He dropped the guy he was covering when he saw the other guy was open. So Laws comes in, gives it up to the handoff, and that's their biggest hole. Atkins racing down the field. Their fastest fullback into the end zone. 71 yards. We might score 200 today. Wake Forest, watch Atkins. It's just a fullback trap, but everybody's gone. The kick out block by Knapp, a terrific block by Mason Kolinchek. More than 330 yards passing. Ayers has been mostly through the air. He's going to throw it again. It's another wide open receiver. Freaking down the field. Keyshawn Williams. How about it again? 75 more for Wake Forest. Total of the season. Yeah, let's watch Keyshawn Williams. He's in the slot going against the safety. He's just going to run a slant. He's working against Markwell Broughton. He runs that little slant in cut. 
And Keyshawn Williams has some serious wheels. I mean, he ran away from Markwell Broughton like Broughton was standing still. And the reality is, Wake Forest has better athletes than does Army. They've got faster players at the skill position, and that's shown itself multiple times today. Broughton's a heck of a player. Williams has serious wheels. Forrest is not that. They gave up 354 last week to Syracuse, and they've given up 300 again today. Robinson breaks out of a tackle, and he's near midfield. But Army's offense continues to move. Yeah, just like that little inside give with trap blocking that they've had a lot of success with. Because of what Wake Forest offense has done? It has to be. Tyler. Reed on oh. his drill. Came around and smacked by Smenda. Oh, my goodness. He's going to straight drop back and throw. Pump fix. Now the man in his face, and he's sacked. Bothroyd with his fourth sack of the season. Throw this football away. He wanted to go quick pass to the left side. He wanted to throw the quick pass right there. It wasn't there. He got to just throw it away because his backside tackle is just cut blocking. They're not really trying to drop back pass. It's a quick pass. They don't have to get all 13 here. That's with the option. And the late pitch. And nowhere to go. Carson was on the ground and made the tackle on Brahim Murphy. Taking a shot to the head, and here's fourth down. Draws to the air. Taking a shot to the end zone. Austin grabbed it with one hand. Oh, my goodness. What a catch on fourth down. Isaiah Austin to keep Army in the game. Are you kidding me? How did he make this catch? Left hand, did he get his foot in? Left hand, left foot. Left hand, left foot. That is absolutely, watch. Left hand in, then left foot before the right foot so, comes down. So the question will be, does he have full possession when that left foot goes down? Because the right foot might have hit the line. They probably will take a look at this. What a grab. And I'm not even sure the right foot's out. The right foot is close. Definitely has it right there. Left foot's down first. I think the right foot's in too. If they can upset San Diego State later on tonight on CBS Sports Network. Here, Army is trying to hand Wake Forest its first loss. Instead, it's Christian Beale Smith taking it for 16 more. It is to turn. Oh Got away from the tackle. Turner down the sideline and he steps out of bounds. Cockrell, watch him come through. He gets in there and hits him in the backfield. The give is to Beal Smith. He breaks it to the outside. Kicks from the defender and dives with a pylon. Now they'll mark him out of bounds at the two yard line. But another third down pickup on a run of 20. Watch his feet. Yeah, right there. He went out of bounds. Good job by the officials there. Wake Forest trying to punch it in one more time. To the air for Roberson. Hold it in. To Corey Roberson pulls in his second touchdown of the game. And Wake back up by two touchdowns. These guys are as good as there is in college football. Watch the fade corner route from the slot. Corner route from the slot against man-to-man -man coverage. Roberson going to go. Hartman puts it wrong. Was illegal shift. So they make it second and ten. They put the ball back. To Ilo Robinson breaks through. And he goes all the way out to midfield. Laws. Getting behind the blockers, pushes forward. First down for Jabari Laws inside the 40. One time they got a stop in the first half. That was on fourth down. Laws keeps it, pitches it. Howard gets a block from Donaldson. Howard tried to cut back. And Jasir Taylor finally a long 
with Masterson as Howard getting the congratulations because he never stopped. Or their defense has been. I mean, so many of these option pitches have been so open. Terrific block down the field by Reek and Donaldson. Howard just kept fighting. This is going to have to blow. Ross going to throw. Wide open. It is wide open. Tyrell Robinson touchdown. Nobody took the slot back down the seam. 25 yards for another passing score for the Black Knights. They just dropped Tyrell Robinson. Watch Tyrell right here. He's going to run right down the hash mark. And it's a dropped coverage because of the play action fake. Step up because of the fullback. Nobody has the slot back. And the offense has been electric. Hartman back to the air. Has an open receiver. It's Perry for the first time in the second half. And he's inside the 30 down to the 26. Those in-breaking routes because they're big body. He's looking down the field. He wants another one. It's Williams into the nine. So again, those five yards did turn out to be inconsequential. Hartman, already five touchdowns through the air. Now he's got one on the ground. For the third straight game, Sam Hartman has a rushing touchdown. It's eight yards, and the Demon Deacons two touchdown lead again. Smooth Sam. This was supposed to be a pass. He didn't see anything. Uh, you know what? I'll just run this one this time. He's athletic enough to make a linebacker miss in space. They, they can almost count on their passing game when they need to in some of these situations. Barnard, who has the first down. When there was a lot more yards there with the pitch man. Laws fouled Barnard. He didn't get it. And that clock keeps ticking. Yeah, they got to hurry up. This is fourth and the nose of the football. Barnard's got the first down over the top. But to your point, this drive has already gone two minutes and 40 seconds. The defense is going to have to go to work as they play Duke next week. Robinson has the first down, so that'll stop the clock to move the chains with 3.41 to go. This is the 11th play of a drive that is almost four minutes long. It's a fumble again. This time Wake Forest does have the football. Chase Jones with the second takeaway for the Demon Deacons this afternoon. It looked like Laws wanted Barnard to keep it, but Barnard didn't realize that. What a shame. I think we're going to get another touchdown out of this. Big play here. They do hand it off to Ellison, and he's got the first down, and that will effectively end this football game. Will not be easy, but I... I wouldn't put anything past this Wake squad. Allison. Racing to the end zone. Trying to give Wake 70. He's in. <laughs> I heard one of the linemen yell at him to go down. So impressed by the patience of these running backs. Terrific blocking at the next level. A.T. Perry as well as the backup tight end, Whitehart. And he probably should have gone down, but it, I still believe is one of the best in the country. They just ran into an absolute buzzsaw today. This time to let Tyrell Robinson bring it out. Gets through. Why not? Out to the 34. Well, it would have been fitting for the way that this day has gone. Their passing game can come through for them when they need it. Back to the air. Laws for Alston one more time, and that's the pass interference. Laws one more time for Alston. Makes the adjustment. Has the grab. His second touchdown catch of the day. I don't know why Wake Forest is playing him man-to-man -man right now with this situation in the game. But Alston has terrific. Those guys have a lot of respect for each other. You could tell when they were talking this week. I wonder if Dave Clawson is saying to Jeff Muckett the same thing he said to us yesterday.